All right, checking out these today. Shout out Boot Bike sent me these. Yeah, I've heard a lot on my Instagram about how these go. Everyone gives them a good rap, so let's see if it uh, lives up to the hype. There's two packs here. This is the colored one. This is a little uh, more value version, but I think they all have the same kind of features. So yeah, we'll check, we'll check it out. This is pretty cool. So this one comes with the case and velcro in case you want to stick it on your jacket or something not sure what this is i guess instructions maybe recommendations and warning on the adhesive so on this stuff yeah a little sticker as well okay so we got this all right so let's take these out they're look, looking pretty good uh they got the color coded so you got eight, six, and five, and then the 25 torques. Same with here. So you got some Allens, you got a torque. So yeah, first impressions, they seem pretty seem pretty solid. Uh, this is kind of made of rubber. And then what's cool about them, it's uh, they have this little ball bearing bit. So I don't know if that kind of like locks into a screw or something. So that's pretty cool. Let's all these out. So overall impression, they seem pretty good. I think that the main difference between this is the, the hex head. They kind of flare a little bit out right there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but they kind of flare out a little bit. So that should help kind of lock in your bolts a little bit better. Kind of holds onto the screws. screws. The sleeve is meant to be a little bit more comfortable. We got the hex splice head. See how it's beveled here. The hex is not meant to round out your bolts, but I, I won't be able to see that if it works till long term. And then the tool finder. So yeah, overall, I'd say, yeah, they look pretty nice. I want to see how they perform because I think that's the real difference um, because you could technically, you could color code your own, your own Allens as well. So I'm just going to open this one up to see if there's any, any difference between the more value set. So uh, yeah, these look pretty cool as well. Um, little case. This is just rubber and it flips out. Um, once again, you can see kind of this, the beveling on the, um, on the Allens here. So these ones, they don't have the, they don't have the ball bearing on the end. So we'll see how much of a difference that makes. Just for comparison, these are the ones that I have at the moment. So these are just, these are just the craft right ones and yeah, pretty much the same shape or same length. So these are almost identical, except for just the bevel shape. So first I'll test these two to see if there's a difference and then I'll move on to here. Okay, so we got just got this uh, Thompson that I'm going to put back on. But you can see this normal one fits pretty well. And there's a little bit of movement. So you can kind of use the ball bearing end here, the same on the top I'd say it moves a little bit but you know not too bad still turns so yeah I, I don't actually feel that much difference between these two I'd actually say the ball bearing on this one's a little bit better because it's a, it's actually, um, I don't know if you can feel it, but, or you can see it, but it's, it's slightly more shallow. So you can see the difference between the wearer one and the normal one. Being slightly more shallow actually helps turn it. Yeah, I'm actually pretty surprised about this. I wouldn't think this actually makes that much of a difference, but Yeah, it actually helps a lot. So you can see I can spin this one on an angle and it works pretty well. Try to keep this in focus. And then here, it turns, but when you're spinning, when you're spinning this, you can't go as much of an, as much of an angle. So yeah, I'm actually quite surprised about this is actually the angle you can take 
to the screw is a, it's a, a, it's a lot more. Um, I would say this Allen, I can't really feel the difference between this Allen at the moment. Uh, maybe when I use it more, I might. Um, I'd say the other difference is basically the feel, the feel of it. You get a little bit more grip on this one because it's, it has the little edges popping out. But yeah, that's just a minor detail. But yeah, I'm quite surprised about the, the ball bearing. That's pretty cool. All right, so we check out this next one. So yeah, for this one, it actually has a, a ball bearing head in there. So I'm gonna test it out again. Oh yeah, that's quite nice actually. That's super nice. Yeah, a little lock-in effect. That feels good. Just wanted to see if it's much different without the lock-in. Yeah, I'd say the lock-in feels good, just so you know it's in there, but I think performance-wise, it doesn't really change it that much. Oh, maybe, maybe it locks in a little bit better. Yeah, so... It does help a little bit. So there's this one. Yeah, I think it helps like a tiny bit dif difference. And then these ones, um, yeah, I can't even go that much of an angle to make it worthwhile. You may as well just use this end. So yeah, just another thing I forgot to mention is that if you do use the ball bearing end, it does hold the bolt on a little bit. So that's another benefit, the little ball bearing with the tighter fit. Okay, and the grip, I would say it feels, um, feels pretty good. Not much to say about it. So there's one more thing I want to, I want to check out. Okay, so it's this holding action here. Um, basically, it's using, it looks like the Torx. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, see if that works. Yeah, so I think if you do shake it hard, it does come off a little bit. Seems like this end holds it a bit better for some reason. All right, this was the other hex tool that I used to have, or well, I still have it. Um, but what I used to use basically is on the multi-tool. Yeah, this, this one falls off straight away. I don't think I can even turn it upside down. Yeah, I turn it upside down, it just falls out. But yeah, it seems like these hold pretty well. I'd say, yeah, good enough for when you're working on stuff. If you do shake it really hard, it does come off. Yeah, just like that. Okay, one last thing is the color coding. I thought it was a little bit strange that they had, you know, these two similar size, same color, these two similar size, same color, and then these two different sizes, same color. And these are Torx Allen, Torx Allen, and these are Allen Allen. So I could see like, if you stored all your tools together like this, and you're looking, for, you're quickly looking for an Allen key, and you're like, oh, I need the green one. You're still gonna, need to make another decision of whether it's Torx or Allen. And then here I can see, okay, if you're looking on the pink one, you can kind of tell what you're grabbing because the size is so different, but you know, it would have been cool if they could make that a different color as well. And also to that point, it'd be cool if they made all the Torx one, you know, one series of colors and then all the, all the Allens, another series of colors. I think that would stop some of the confusion. Um, I'm sure where has thought about this, uh, a lot. So I leave it to, uh, you know, to their product team to see if they can, uh, see if they can work that out or, you know, they've probably done it for a good reason, but I'll work with this in the long term to see if it actually works. Um, I think for me, it's probably going to work just because I use uh, Allen's a lot more than Torx and I also can uh, I can also store my Allen's away from my Torx keys and that might help as well uh, but 
yeah i think the color the coloring for me was just a little bit confusing at first glance but yeah we'll see we'll see how that works out all right that's basically the video um yeah i'm pretty surprised with how how different these actually are to normal allen keys you know the allen keys at the end of the day but some of the benefits i think are really beneficial uh i would say you know if you're using tools day in day out i think it definitely could help especially you know some of the bolts not falling away or you're not stripping them um, some little benefits like that if you are looking for uh, these products i will leave the links in the description and yeah, once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.